those strong legs. Big inhale, stretch up. Hands to your heart. Three rounds, be precise. Inhale, stretch. Hinge from your waist, fold forward. Good. Inhale, lengthen, heart forward. Step back to plank. Pause and plank. Choose the version that works for you, either cobra or upward dog. Big inhale, chest pulls forward. Good. Downward facing dog, pull back. Pull over the toes. Remember, there's always the version we did first, where you can skip cobra, you can skip upward dog, and just hold plank for a breath. I love that version. If you're doing that version at home, I applaud you. Good. Bend the knees, step all the way up, top of the mat. Hands to shins, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Move down to your feet, reach all the way up. Big inhale, stretch. Hands to your heart. Now smooth it out. Inhale, stretch. Don't be choppy. Exhale, fold. Nice, inhale, lengthen. Step back into plank. Pause for a moment and plank. Figure out which works for you. Either cobra or upward dog, or skipping it all together. Nice downward facing dog, pull back and press your hips back further and further. One more round, bend the knees, step all the way up, top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Strong legs, big inhale, stretch up. Hands together. Last time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Good. Step back into plank position. Either lower to cobra or through upward dog, or just hold that plank and get strong there. Nice job. Downward facing dog. Pull back. Roll over the toes. I want you guys to hold downward dog. I know you're probably feeling this in your shoulders already, but press your hips back further and further in your downward dog. Breathe deep. Smooth and even. In and out through your nose. Try to press your hips back a little bit further. should be soft, fingers are spread, really let that downward dog make an imprint on your body, good child's pose, put your knees down, chill out, take a nice deep breath or two here, alright, so that was intense, hang out in child's pose for a moment, feel your breathing, try to settle into what it is that you're feeling, alright, breathe into your back, into your sides, Nice job. From child's pose, come on to all fours, hands and knees. And then just go ahead and make your way up to a seat. Plant your feet on the floor in front of you. Have your hands on the floor behind you. Turn your hands out to the sides. We're gonna do the reverse tabletop. So anytime we do a lot of lowering down or chaturangas, it's a great stretch to counter that. Either keep your butt down or lift your hips up and press up. Good, as your chest lifts, maybe your hips start to lift up as well. Just make sure you're not dropping your head all the way back. You should feel supported through your neck, right? Tilt the gaze up a little bit, but I want you to feel this stretch across your chest. Roll the biceps out, like you're turning your inner arms outward. Good, take three more deep breaths here. If your hips are up, make sure those heels are taking a lot of the weight. Good, nice job, set your butt down. We're gonna finish with a really sweet cross-legged seated hip stretch, okay? So if you need to sit up on a block, you can sit up on a block. We'll just cross your legs, cross right in the middle of your shins, and just start to lift up out of your lower back. Put your fingertips on the floor right in front of your shins. Try to keep your feet flexed, right? So that's the opposite of pointing your toes. And start to crawl forward. If you can only crawl forward an inch, that's fine. Just keep lifting up out of your lower back. If you can start to crawl forward more, go for it. And you're gonna start to feel this in your outer hips, okay? Unless you're super bendy, in which case, just find your breathing and create that length through your torso. Most of us aren't that bendy here. So you're gonna feel it in those hips, just breathe in.